Good morning. Now, let us discuss the functions of human resource management. Functions of human resource management may be broadly classified into two groups. They are managerial functions and operative functions. They are also discharged by the human resource department. The human resource department is an important segment of the organization which helps in operations, finance or marketing. Managerial functions includes planning, organizing, directing, coordinating, decision making and controlling. Let us discuss the basic managerial functions of HR department. First one, HR planning. It is the planning of human resource requirement of an organization. We have to identify and make available the required number of persons in an organization. It avoids any possible mismatch between demand and supply of human labor. So planning is the first and foremost important managerial function. Next, organizing HR department. A well HR department should be structured which is necessary to carry out all the HR functions effectively and efficiently. It involves division of duties among human resource staff and assignment of responsibilities. It also facilitates coordination of activities to achieve corporate objectives. Directing and coordinating. Directing involves motivating all the employees to achieve the desired goals of an organization. For that, employees must be trained, supervised, and their efforts must be coordinated to achieve corporate objectives. Next, decision making. HRM is essential in decision making. HR department has to take a number of decisions relating to the acquisition, maintenance, and use of human resource. Some of these decisions are number of employees required at the right time, at the right place, when they are to be employed, and from which source they are to be recruited, and the type of training to be given, and the type of jobs to which they are to be assigned, the amount of remuneration payable, redeployment, resizing of organization, etc. HR controlling. Controlling is getting the feedback from employees to see that whether all our human resource plans are implemented successfully. It involves using of techniques like performance evaluation, HR auditing, evaluation of their training programs. And thus, after evaluating all these performances, human resource management takes necessary remedial measures based on the results. It helps them to control them where they are deviated toward the right direction. The second function of HRM is operative functions. HRM is a process which involves managerial functions such as planning, organizing, directing, coordinating, controlling, etc. Whereas we have to use all these managerial functions properly towards the operative functions of HRM. The important operative functions are acquisition, which means recruitment and selection of employees. It's also known as procurement. It involves searching or identifying the required human resource and the candidates are attracted and stimulated to apply for jobs in the organization. Selection is the process of choosing the right number and type of employees from a pool of candidates. Procurement of human resource is the most important function it should be carried by HRM. After recruitment and selection of employees, we have to provide them training and development. It's a duty of management to train each employee properly to develop technical skills for the jobs for which he or she has been employed and also to develop him for the higher jobs in the organization. Training and development are necessary to improve their knowledge, skills and experiences. Employees will also have personal achievement motives. They need to assume higher positions and responsibilities. Therefore, human resource management should also make some career planning and development for employees. Next, operative functions, compensating employees. 
which means wages and salary administration. The employees of an organization are to be suitably compensated as per their work. HRM should have a long-term salary policy to attract and retain the best talents in the organization. The salary or wages should be only based on their job evaluation, condom of work, cost of living, legal rates applicable for payment of wages, compensation packages of competitors in the industry, etc. The compensation payable includes monetary and even non-monetary benefits and it is it should be ideal to have a combination of both. Next one, industrial relation function. One of the most important operative functions of HRM, which should build up and maintain good employer-employee relationship. The employees must feel satisfied about the working conditions, their salary, career development, status, etc. Thus, industrial relation functions include motivation of employees, providing their job satisfaction, adequate salary and other benefits such as fringe benefits, recognition by trade unions, collective bargaining, fair and adequate settlement of grievances, etc. Next one, maintenance function. Maintenance functions involves measures taken to retain the employees in the organization. Employees may leave an organization for better opportunities, favorable working conditions, for better monetary and non-monetary benefits. Therefore, we have to maintain a satisfied workforce with loyalty and commitment to the organization. For that, employees should be provided with fringe benefits like medical benefits, housing facilities, recreation facilities, maternity benefits, group insurance, canteen facilities, etc. Then termination function. HRM should evolve policies for retirement or termination of employees. Employees may be terminated on reaching superannuation, voluntary retirement, and labor turnover due to unforeseen reasons. Sometimes employees may be terminated as a result of layoff and retrenchment. Downsizing or just sizing of an organization reduces the number of employees. So the termination policy should be fair, equitable, and acceptable to the trade unions. Thank you.